calling out my OG air cooling enthusiasts who swear by CPU air coolers and not even dive or think in the realm of getting an AIO or custom water cooling. You might have another monster on the horizon straight out of China, even to challenge Thermorite's current throne for tower air coolers. Let's get into this. Hi hey everyone, it's Biolock Tech back again with some more tech news on the horizon. Fresh in the weekend, on this hot summer weekend, 90s outside, so you know myself, myself staying inside in the nice AC because I can't take high and mid-90 heat. Now, I want to bring to y'all attention today. Now, we all know there's a niche of people out there that live and die by, excuse the morbidity, by tower air coolers for CPUs, no matter what platform, Intel or AMD. And they never even think, or they're so stuck in old ways of not going AIO or even custom cooling that they only get air coolers. Now, we already know, as far as I know, since Deep Cool left the market, Thermal Right has been pretty much taking a crown as far as really quality, affordable air coolers for the CPU that don't break the bank and have a lot of good features and good quality fans and the whole nine yards. Now, we got another manufacturer straight out of China again that's come to challenge Thermorite's throne, and the China brand name is called Jiu Shark. It sounds weird, but I think that's how you pronounce it, Jiu Shark. Jiu Shark, it's kind of a tongue twister, it's J-I-U Shark. And they just broke the boundary of having massive, uh, or defining what a massive tower air cooler is for CPUs. And this CPU cooler that they are making, or they made, supports up to 280 watts of power to distribute the heat from that amount of wattage. And they're, I think they're called the JF15, I believe, Diamond, JF15 Diamond, I think, something along those lines. I'll leave the article below for the exact name, but it's kind of a weird name, but let's just call it the Geoshark Monster Cooler for, for now, just for the sake of time. Now, now, not only is this a massive air cooler, it uses 140 millimeter fans and uses Four of them. Yeah, you heard me right. Four 140 millimeter fans. It's like a big thing. And it usually, according to the article, it spans the size of the tower, how it hangs over, spans the length of a regular ATX motherboard diagonally. So that's a long and huge cooler. And it has two, how it has is like a rectangle, and it has a six heat pipes underneath the big rectangle. And then you know how to have the dual tower situations, so how to have like two fans, one in the middle and one in the front. For regular dual tower um, situations, this one has two in the front and two in the middle. And so it has four 140 millimeter fans and it comes in both black and white. And currently, I think it's only available on AliExpress and some other off brand Chinese um, computer site or Chinese website. But um, I, I've heard about AliExpress before. I've seen people get stuff from there before. So I trust, I'll probably trust their, their, um, that site more than the off-brand one that I mentioned in the article. But AliExpress has it, it comes in white and black. And I think at the top of part, the top of the tower, has like two nice little diffuse RGB strips. I'll put pictures up here so you can see. And also the article below as well, so you can see and read through the whole article at your own leisure. I'm just covering the highlights. Now, if that wasn't crazy enough, we already know Thermorite has a crown for quality to performance to pricing. And even their most expensive thing is like top quality is no more than like 50 bucks or something. And for all you peerless assassin, assassin fans, you know what I'm talking about. But they are only, for this G-Shark J5, JF15 Diamond Cooler, they're only charging $40 USD. That's how it kind of roughly translates to from the, you know, the, the, the Chinese currency. So about 40 to $45 um, USD, that's just a ballpark. They don't have a specific price yet, but that's the target pricing that they're saying in the article. And you're getting a dual 140 monster tower. So you get four, a, a big old tower that is as big as a motherboard, a regular ATX motherboard, that has four 140 millimeter fans and also pulls away up to 280 watts of power. And the core plate on it is enough to cover most of a Threadripper CPU. But their according to the article is that it wasn't aimed for Threadripper, it's aimed for like the more modern CPUs, like the X3Ds and the Z, other regular Zen 5 chips. Um, and if you want to mention Intel Ultra, but nobody cares about Intel Ultra anymore because they're really like 
they fell flat with the Ultra Series, in my opinion. A lot of other people think so as well. But for the, pe- the, the CPUs that pull a lot of power um, are close to 200 watts, like the X3D, I think, quote, does like 170 or 120, um, like idle. But yeah, 40 to $45 for a massive dual 140 tower CPU heat sink with six heat copper heat pipes and a massive core plate that spans the, the, the length of a regular ATX motherboard. That alone, I, I don't I even believe what I just said. That's ridiculous. And it's only been targeted around $45. We'll see how much it comes to when it's fully released after tires and whatnot. Um, the only downside is, since you only get AliExpress, it's going to take some time to get it to the US if you are the AliExpress because it's coming from China. So you just have to be patient, but from what they're saying, the performance is ridiculous. I think Tom's Hardware did a, a, a test on it, and it got good reviews as well from Tom's Hardware when they did their testing. But yeah, y'all, this is, I don't know, I, I don't know if Aircool is trying to overtake regular AIOs with this massive monsters they're releasing recently. But we'll see when the third party reviews come out outside of Tom's Hardware. But let me know in the comments below if you are an OG air cooler person or did you j- jump chip to the AIO or custom cooling? Let me know in the comments below. Until then, this is Violet Tech signing out.